So what we are talking about today, it's uh, data streams, real-time data, and actionable data. So when we talk a little bit of the web analytics story before, we have seen, if I started 2003 in this kind of business, that the BI departments was kicked out of the analytics stuff for web because the web analytics system was be integrated and a new kind of people joined to the company, the web analysts. Nowadays, we have a change back to the roots, not similar, the same step back, but we have now in a combination where we can combine the typical web analytics solutions with BI solutions, which get more clever, more smarter, more intelligent and faster. Because this was the main issue why web analytics was winning the market for a long time. The analyzer was much faster than the BI department can deliver the data in the analyzers. But that's the past. Looking forward. Some words to WebTrack. WebTrack is one of the German manufacturers, software vendor of web analytics systems since 2004. I started one year before, so I know the story of WebTrack well. Also, when I joined a few weeks ago to this team, so uh, if some issues come not on the same time, please give me a chance uh, to check all the details here. Berlin is the headquarter. We are around 130 people at the moment, growing, and have subsidiaries in Italy and Spain. Uh, I think what is uh, important if you take, think about data privacy, all the servers are located in Germany so that we can provide such kind of information also for data privacy issues and keep in line with the current um, laws. My function in, at WebTrack is at the moment strategic alliance manager. So I'm nothing else as a salespeople with a consulting background. <laughs> and of course, that's our slogan at the moment for WebTrack, we are data lovers. And hopefully after this speech, your data lovers too. So what we, we had, you will see some screenshots from our surface from our analytics tool. Where step web trick in? What we offer is to collect data, to store the data, and provide analyzers for the data that you can step in and get the insights out. And this is what you have to do. The simple part is to get the data in. The second simple part is to store the data. But most of the companies struggle if they do analyzers. And that's where we support with our software. And we have, for that, a user-centric approach to uh, use the data, building dashboards, marketing automation issues, find segmentations, curate the segmentation, and share the information also with us with third-party applications. If you think about data management and the successful factors for digital transformation, that's the five steps which you have to take care. The first one is the data collection. The simple part, get data in. Only what you have to check is the data sources where you have the information. Is this a raw data or is this uh, some uh, data which is predefined? And to check the approvals if it's allowed for you to use this data. Then is data storage. Uh, that's more a question today, which has changed a little bit. In the past, we collect every data which we can get. Nowadays, it's more a step to have a data economy. Use this data which you need, not everything which you can catch up. And of course, data security. I think uh, all of you have uh, get this bloody DSGO stuff and have to get the improvements, how to fulfill the requirements. I think it was a hard job in the last year for many companies to be conformed to these laws. Third, it's the data processing. And what everybody likes to do, it's the merge of data. And still, by merging data, you have to double check if it's allowed to merge the data for you. For example, Facebook has merged the data from their own platform, from WhatsApp platform, and uh, all other platforms which they are controlling, and merges data. This is not allowed. So it was forbidden in February this year from the Bundeskartellamt, and they have to take care that this data will be separated, stored. 
Um, and, and those typical in e-commerce, we like to merge data as much as possible. <laughs> we like to get everything over, uh, about the end users, the visitors, and buyers. But we have to take care that we get the loudness in front of this before we start to merge data. What we talk about today a little bit is data exchange and the data analysis issues. We have three dots for a moment, what we discuss, so, which makes things easier was the tech management system. The older guys which know the beginning of web analytics knows that we have to implement the web analytics page by page or in, by templates in the CMS system. Today, we use tech management systems. It's easier to integrate the systems, catch the data, get combined with other data, and maybe push it in an existing data lake. So what is the data lake? Data lake is a repository of data, of raw data mainly, and which allowed to access from third party to use the data. So you have a single point of truth where you store your data. The raw data, the, before you moved on, you can push all this data in the data lake and serve applications outside of this data lake. And what we called what's the difference now, it's data streams. Data streams allowed to have real data in real time, raw data in real time. Why you need this? Somebody has some ideas? Please wake up also when it's lunchtime now. <laughs> no more noise, no answers? Okay, I have to give the answer directly. Yeah, and to the right people, data economy. Campaign data to the campaign people, sales data to the sales people or CIM people. Uh, and that's in real time, so one job for one stream. And you can have several parallel streams at the same time, support different departments with different kind of information that you need at this place. A short example where data stream is used is the Danish uh, da Oh, sorry, I have to check the Danish library. It's in Copenhagen, which uh, using data streams for checking the, uh, sharing the communication and electronic media, such as e-books and other web-based material. The DDB manages operates negotiation digital library services, which benefits the local public library and residents. And the target for them is to have accurate data in real time to present everybody which content is used and which content is not used. The client themselves, the end user of this software can have access to this library by abonnements and can take care about uh, all the stuff which they provided. So this means media stuff, books, and so on. The requirement which this company has was similar which we find as a standard requirement for data streams. So structured stru data and the central administration. When you take a look in today's business, you will find that we have st stored data in several apps and several places, and uh, you have cross links to every application database, which makes no sense because you do it twice to or more often to other applications. And it's better to have a data lake between, which you can connect one stream and get out with one truth. The other one is the legal application at the Danish library was that they have KPIs, which they have often to present to the public audience, and mapping the KPIs in compliance with the data privacy requirements. And so it's not allowed to show that Thomas Bromont has booked some media assets. Fasten and granular data supply for further processing in KPI index and possible scaling in the project because it's now 80 bibliotheques are connected and adding next one, uh, it will be added in next steps, more libraries in the Danish environment. That's a report which this looks like. So it's, it's, you can double check it on the website which you find here. So it's the kpiindex.com. This will be updated in real time. 
to present the audience which content is used and which content is not used. That's a simple one for data stream, so no big personalization issues insert, no targeting issues, in, no recommendation, but shows in, in a simple form where you can use data streams and get only this data which you need to build up this KPI index. That just looks like the monitoring of uh, WebTrack data streams. What you will see is uh, different devices and also ch uh, channels. And on the right side, you will see some client names and which, which data streams will be filled in. That's how it looks, our data stream. So what we deliver is uh, digital business data in your data warehouse, end-to-end -end and real-time, multiple import and export streams, and one data stream per use case. That's what uh, WebTrack offers in this case. Again, if you have a standard, you will see the standard requirements for data streams. It's more or less the same what I shortly explained for the DDB, for the Danish organization. And what is most important is uh, to use first party management that is allowed for you to use this data and that you have the right data, reduction of uncontrolled data storage and service providers and scalability. scalability. Oh, sorry, I have pushed the wrong, it's a nice picture, but I want to show this. On the left, right, sorry, right hand, you will see this uh, typical situation which have you have without a data strategy, which you find in most of the common companies today. So the near future should be to have a data lake in between this and have organized data streams by where several sources, recipients, will be connected to the data source, streams the data in, in the data lake, and where the apps and stakeholders get the data out and brings the results from, for example, recommendation issues back in the data lake where the apps take care about this. So they have a clear data stream between these two kind of sources and stakeholders at the end. Technical-wise, we have uh, several APIs depending on what your need is. So raw data export, if you have some analytics export, audience for uh, some segmentations or something else, and recommendation API, where different applications can be connected to the data lake, and uh, different applications should be supported by the information which you can get out of the data lake. This data lake information can be processed and can be sent back. For example, to build a picture out of this, you have a typical shop system, you have a recommendation, so you do the recommendation. The behavior data will be sent from the web analytics to the data lake. This Behavior data will be catched up by another application, for example, a recommendation engine, will be processed, and the result will be sent back. And that's in real time. What we are talking about at the moment from less than 100 milliseconds where the data will be transformed. So check a little bit uh, where you are at the moment, which status of typical evaluation processes you have reached. So still in the acquisition phase, so where you easily and handmade some analyzers, focus on the past more or less, and focus on acquisition. Or you're in the consolidation phase, so you have some semi-automatic processes running, focus on the past with some predictive analytics or focus on CRM and business model, or if you're still running in the process to have fully automated processes. Is this useful for everybody? In general, yes. If uh, you have enough traffic, of course. Uh, if you have some automatically processing for optimizing your targeting, so your segments, then you need a lot of traffic. Otherwise, 
build the, please build the rules handmade. It makes more sense if you have not the audience in million or th million over millions. So why, where's the support of AI in this, or in Germany, KI? Supported is identified as the next best action, and that is the part which analysts need time to do some action. Automatically programs and some formulas help and support here to have a better solution outside and running more smoothly outside with better conversion rates, for example. Algorithm automatically analyze the behavior of user. Data is not only collected, but also combined in a meaningful way, so that you have, for example, the combination of behavior data and also uh, to analyze, make it sense to send a coupon outside now. Which level should be the compliance? So for five euros, 10 euros, 15 euros, and to have a prediction calculation um, when it makes sense to offer 10 additional euros and when not, for example. Such kind of rules. And have you to check that you are in this way? Yes, you have to. The first company starts with such kind of systems, so they are had in the market. And if you like to participate to the market, you have to adopt such kind of systems quickly, I think. That means not that the web analytics is there, but web analytics get more uh, commodity product, which send data to more intelligent systems, which analyze the data and do some action outside. At least some samples, I think you are aware of that kind of similar Solutions, for example, on-site uh, banner and custom HML. So you're looking for some glasses and have a special kind of glasses which you're interested in. And now should be something, oh yeah, now. And you get additional offer which match, match the needs which you are using for. So kind of glasses which or I will say design of glasses and you get similar designs from, sim from uh, several vendors, for example. On-site layer behavior of fits to the visitor, so Another example is, when do you he need help in, uh, in on the on-site business? If you push the button too early and bring the help button outside, sometimes the people are disturbed and uh, surprised what's happened here and will not uh, get connected to you. You have to double check what is the behavior, if they accept it, if it's doing it at the right time, it can shift really the results in sales to the right level when you support it in the right time. But that's it's what you have to check out with your system to calculate how important is it now to support the offer when it makes sense, and that's data which you can collect from the behavior of the web analytics. Predictions can support you when it makes sense to have some coupons on it, in which level you have the coupons. Or, for example, also a funny part, uh, if you check a little bit uh, segments, um, what is better, to offer a coupon with euro values or a percentage? Please, which like percentage takes your arm? The rest is for euros or? That's the right answer, depending. <laughs> um, I found in several measurements, we find out that uh, we have a, I will not tell a problem with gender, but it's a gender uh, result. Um, it's not typical for every woman, so please. <laughs> but at this uh, web pages that we checked and uh, where we have done these segments, we find out that the woman which visits this page doesn't like percentages. They like to see the real value. For men, was no difference if they use the percentage or the real value. 
it's not for everybody useful, but you have to check it on your website which works well. That's a simple part. Um, another, another story is if you check, um, for example, some, some dating portals. I, I know nobody of you use dating portals. They have no users. We have uh, three, five, with three, for more than three million attendees, so I think some should be there. So, where, when you, ex when you join this website, what do you expect else when you join this website? A girl with a nice face, maybe a couple which is laughing to you, or a man? What do you expect? Woman, simple. No expectation to never you visit some pages. <laughs> yeah, woman or couple. That's a, you have only one picture which you can present, so. Unusual? Okay, I will explain it. What we find out for this special dating portal was really simple. Men's are simple minded. Woman is nice, is fine enough, no more information needed. <laughs> Girls, in this uh, test was more thinking what they like to have in the future. So the solution base. It's a couple picture, yeah. <laughs> but you have to test it on your website. Get the data, analyze the data, act with the data. And for that, you can use data streams. And I hope now you are a little bit more data lover than starting before the, I start with the speech. Also, WebTrack has a summit in May for data lovers. And I hope I will see you soon. Thank you.